hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you haven't subscribed please make sure to subscribe if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for your continuous support please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please share this video with your friends and family so they can see this video and learn from this video so on a very sad note while I was not minding my business on the internet I saw a really really sad video and story trending a Kenyan woman whose name is Helen Wendy, currently living in Canada, drowned while swimming alone as she streamed live on Facebook. On the Facebook live video, the lady is seen diving into the swimming pool and at the 11th minute, she is visibly in distress as she begins to shout for help. The live stream remains for almost 4 hours before her body is discovered. Rest in peace, Wendy. First and foremost, guys let's just please have a moment of silence to wendy to any of your friends that you've lost through drowning this should be a lesson to each one of us guys most of us don't think swimming is a really important thing but swimming can save your life in the video you could hear wendy shouting for help but seems like wendy was alone obviously that's why nobody was there to rescue so oh it's just a sad thing to think of and seeing it on facebook live and the fact that nobody helped her and nobody could call and nobody even tried nobody ended the video nobody even came across the pool in the in the whole three almost four hours that she was streaming on live facebook that's very sad in the video the girl was really looking happy she was just talking to her viewers saying how she's from work and yeah she was seeming like she was enjoying herself she didn't seem like much of a swimmer she seemed like somebody that who's somebody that's just learning how to swim but anyway that aside guys we have to be really careful when around water yeah you never know when tragedy is going to strike so yeah that's my message today here guys um do you know that wendy can be you can be me can be your daughter can be your friend and a relative did you know that globally there are at least four billion people who can't swim According to the World Health Organization, there is an estimated 372,000 people who die annually from drowning. Drowning is the third leading cause of an intentionally injury death worldwide, accounting for 7% of all injury-related deaths. Globally, the highest drowning rates are among children aged 1 to 4 years, followed by children aged 5 to 9 years. According to a statement, more than 90% of drowning deaths in low and middle income countries occur in wells, domestic water storage vessels, rivers and lakes. That brings us to the question, can you swim? Can your sister swim? Can your child swim? Or is it not important to you? If you accidentally fall into a swimming pool, can you save yourself? If nobody's around, drowning can happen to anyone. Can you save yourself? Anytime there is access of water, drowning is, uh, is something that can happen anytime. This is a message to you today, to be extra careful and learn how to swim. It's never too late. A little floating could save a life. You can prevent drowning by learning basic swimming and water safety skills. Swimming lessons can reduce the risk of drowning. So go ahead and sign up for that swimming class. It's not a lose and it's never too late. If you can't swim, remember to wear a life jacket. Learn CPR and also know the risks of natural waters. This is also an important point guys. Avoid alcohol before or during swimming, boating or other water activities. Guys, I know it's always fun to be drunk and have fun, but guys, drugs, alcohol is a no-go zone. 
when you're trying to swim swimming and drugs and alcohol don't go well together yeah so always remember that yeah okay guys don't also forget to to always swim with a buddy use the buddy system yeah always swim with a buddy choose swimming sites that have lifeguards when possible avoid swimming alone the buddy system is beneficial for beginners and people with seizures or any other medical conditions that increase the risk of drowning so even if you are a good swimmer and you have medical conditions it's safe and recommended to always go swimming with a buddy yeah you don't know what might happen the next minute so it's better to be safe than sorry similar to road safety when we talk about the importance of driver fitness it's important to focus on the physical well-being of anyone entering water swimmers should at all times be aware let's educate and train our children brothers and sisters about swimming safety let's always try to swim with a partner each and every time and let's always be aware when around water bodies most important is to perceive and avoid the risk when in doubt whether to enter the water don't guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video make sure to drop a comment and don't forget to pray for wendy's family thank you so much and don't forget to also learn how to swim i'll be dropping videos on how you can learn how to swim so if you're interested make sure to subscribe to this channel thank you for watching make sure to also drop a comment till next time bye bye